And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we're going to be going over the top 10 most overpowered players in Madden. I know you guys know this list already. It's not just defensive, it's not just offensive, it's a nice mix. Now, sometimes I'm a little more biased to one side. I try to work on that while doing the list because I have had times where I've done like an all offensive list or an all defensive list, but just depending on the time in the game, it's very hard to do sometimes. But right now, specifically with everything being like end game right now, wasn't too bad to kind of make it a little bit more even than usual. So on this list, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six offensive and, oh, it's not so bad. Then we got one, well, we should have four, right? Yeah, so. Not bad, pretty even right there. So as far as this goes, a really solid looking list. Happy to go through it. We're going 10 through one. You guys already know the deal with this. Let's get over to the auction block. But before we get into the video, guys, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, come join the family, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And guys, if you haven't already, comment down below what you'd like to add to the list, who you think should be moved around, and who am I missing on this list specifically? Coming at number 10, a guy that I think is like baby, my, uh, baby Pat Mahomes with some speed, 99 overall Cam Newton. Now, Cam Newton, where is his 99? That's interesting. Here we go. 99 Cam Newton. He's still a good price. Now, I see him as slightly faster Mahomes. Now, I'll show you guys why. So, when you compare them, he has 3 plus speed on Mahomes. The throw power is going to be the same. But go deep or powered up or Cam Newton, he didn't have 99 throw power. His short accuracy, they're both going to end up at 99. Medium accuracy, they're born apart. Deep accuracy, Mahomes is better. Throwing a pressure, Mahomes is better. Throwing the runs the same. Play action is way better. So, what I always say is that it, what it pretty much is, do you want to lose a little bit of throw under pressure and deep accuracy? Well, a decent amount in exchange for three plus speed. Now, in my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. But again, Cam Newton's cheap. He's a little bit more mobile. He's a little bit stronger. He can truck a little bit better. And he's a little more fun at times. So it comes down to you guys on that front. And I think he's still a little bit cheaper. Now, next on the list is a guy that I also, I call new Aaron Donald. And that is Bruce Smith. He's a great price. Now this card, 83 speed, 92 excel, 98 strength, 94 tackle, 95 play rec, 97 block shot, 98 power move, and 94 finesse move. This is a rhyme to baby or new Aaron Donald. And I'll show you guys why. Compared to Aaron Donald, they're damn near identical, like everywhere, if you guys really look at them closely. Tied in a bunch of spots, one minus. Now remember, Bruce Smith has more potential though, because you can upgrade him still. You still can power him up, which will then give him the boost in excel, tie them in strength, give him a much bigger boost in tackle, tie them in play rec, give him a boost in block shed, give him a boost in finesse move and time finesse move, uh, power move and give him a time finesse move. Plus then you apply the cams and everything. They're still gonna be very similar, but it is a newer 99 overall once powered up version of Aaron Donald. Now a guy that just got added back to the list, the guy that I've taken off, but after further review, he's still there, guys. Like, this card is absolutely insane. You'd be dumb not to have tried him yet. It's a specific, unless you're a theme team, obviously. But, guys, this card, Saquon Barkley, is still the best running back to me in Madden. Now, you might say that Bo Jackson's far and away better. That is not true. That is not true. Bo Jackson is better on paper, but I'm telling you guys, well, no, not even when you look at it closely. What is Bo Jackson? Now, Bo Jackson has a 99 speed. Well, good. Powered up and chemmed up. Saquon has a 99 speed. Bo Jackson, 99 Excel. So does Saquon when powered up and chemmed up. Bo Jackson has 99 agility, so does Saquon. 99 carrying, so does Saquon. Bo Jackson has a 70 catching, Saquon's actually better. Bo Jackson has like a 99 elusiveness, okay. Saquon only gets like a 96. Bo Jackson, no, actually no, I think Bo Jackson has a lower elusiveness than him. Bo Jackson has 99 trucking, that's where he beats him. Break tackle 99. They're almost the exact same card. Almost the exact same card, except Bo Jackson has a plus 10 better truck, and Saquon has a plus 10 better catch. Difference is? Saquon is uh four million coins less yeah and uh also he can be powered up Bo can't be so it means you can't power pass him guys Saquon Barkley is such a bargain trust me if you don't want if you can't afford to get Bo Jackson which no one can I highly recommend you get Saquon that's why I'm still rocking with Saquon the stats are just too similar and Saquon's really fun to play with anyways coming in at number seven is a cornerback that's recently been added Decently cheap already considering what I expected from him. Champ Bailey, 495k. I've been telling you guys all year. My cornerback duo was gonna trio was gonna end with Champ Bailey. He's so dynamic. 97 speed, 97 excel, 98 agility, 93 jumping, 95 play rec, 99 man, 95 zone, and 93 press. I always tell you guys, Champ Bailey is pretty much you take some athleticism off of Deion Sanders and you give him more physicality. It's like you could say, like, okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of speed, excel, and a little bit of jump off of Dion. I'm gonna add it to his press. That's pretty much all it is. Because at the end of the day, compared, champ's going to end up with the same speed, same excel, same agility, less jumping, better play rec, actually, better man, but they're going to end up tying it, man. Zone, they're both going to end up tying around 99, 
and then press champ's gonna get close to like a 97 98 so that's where he beats him he can actually press up which he cannot do i honestly think champ's the better cornerback at this moment in time but you have to remember there's things like when you get interceptions the the agility and how well Dion is on pick sixes and his juke move champ's good at that too though so trust me it's not it's not that big of a differential but champ bailey number seven and number six right next to him, night train lane i love this night train lane let me show you guys him powered up on the right over here there's night train lane ends up getting a 98 speed on my team 97 excel 98 agility 98 jumping 98 play rec 97 man 99 zone and 98 press this card's like okay now this card pretty much is like taking Deion sanders and combining him with a linebacker he gets the hit power he gets the he gets the strength he gets the coverage of Dion. he's pretty fast and he can return picks and kick return the same way Dion can well close enough to it he's not like exactly there but trust me he's super athletic i love this night train lane i've been looking at him all year like since the first one, like since the first one came out around Christmas, like um, sorry, Thanksgiving, I got that one, and this one came out. I've been waiting for a while, but he was always just so expensive. But I finally pulled the trigger not too long ago. Now next on the list, I have to put him in here because guys, he's still obviously the greatest running back in the game. But again, I'll, I'll let me show you here the comparison. But number five is gonna be Bo Jackson. But if you do compare, look, if you compare the two, like I said, this Bo Jackson 99 everything. Saquon Barkley gonna have the same speed, same excel, same agility, same carrying. Those are some of the most important stats on a running back. So at that point, is he worth 5 million coins? Carrying, same thing. Catching, Saquon's way better. At least in the Saquon loses by a little bit, but I think on my team he ends up at like a 96, 97, which really isn't that off. Trucking is the only difference, plus 10. That's it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be plus 10 on my team, probably even plus nine. Break tackle, the same thing. And then the strength, of course, is a little bit different as well, plus eight. But other than that, guys, this Saquon's just so similar. So similar. Even if you check out the Juke, I hope I convinced you guys not to spend your money on this Bo Jackson. Stiff arm is less, obviously. Spin move is less, and juke is slightly less. But on my team, we're gonna get that back up anyways. Trust me, guys. It's not worth. It's not worth the coins. If, if you have, if you guys if you pull them or he's free for you somehow or you want to give away, of course he's better. But if you have to pick coin based, you cannot justify five million coins for that. You just can't. Anyways, next on the list, wide receiver just came out. Super excited to pick him up. Probably gonna use my power pass on him, Randy Moss. This Randy Moss card guy is a golden ticket. That's it. He's a golden ticket. He's an unreleased golden ticket. It's a great price for him. And you can also go ahead and power pass him for free. Compare it to my Calvin. Because that's pretty much what he compares to, right? Calvin on my team gets to a 99 speed. But Randy Moss is a 99 speed powered up. Okay. Jumping. Both can be 99. Catching. Moss 99. Calvin's a little bit low. He's going to end up like at 95, 96. Catching traffic. They're both going to be 99s. Spec catch. 99s. Short route running. Going to be exactly the same. Medium route running. Going to be a little bit better. Pretty much these Calvin, the Calvin and Randy is very, very similar, but he fills out all the deficiencies of Calvin. He has the plus on the speed, he gets the plus on the catch, he gets the plus on the spec, and he gets the plus on the medium and deep route running, which makes him perfect at deep medium, pretty much, once he's chemed up. And the short's already good, but where he really gets him, which is where Calvin doesn't have him, is going to be that agility, as you guys can see, which isn't the biggest difference, but it gets better down here. Kick return, he can kick return, and here's where it gets better. So if you look at spin and juke, the juke does get to an 89, which means power up and coming up, he will have a 90 juke uh, threshold, which means I think he could probably get jukebox or at least close to it. Could be off on that one. And then, of course, just everything. Like the B press is very similar, but Calvin still stacks up pretty well. This Calvin's amazing. I recommend you run both. Don't differentiate. Run both, and you won't be sorry that you did. Next on the list, coming back to one of my old time favorites, you guys. This card is just, this card was before his time. We, we, weren't, we weren't grateful for this card. This Patrick Mahomes card is still like the best quarterback in Madden, and, it, and quarterbacks come down, they just can't top him. They just can't. This card, everything chemmed up and powered up. Ends up with 90 speed almost. Like, I think it's 89 speed. 89 speed, 99 throw power, 99 throw short, and like 97 throw mid, and 97 throw deep. Oh, per pretty much perfect throwing stats. 99 throwing pressure, 99 throwing the run. Perfect throwing stats, good, good enough speed, quite honestly. Perfect throw power and amazing abilities. This card can do it all, and up, up until recently, he was like 350, 400k again. You can still power pass him. Guys, this card is the card. Like, this is the quarterback right now, in my opinion. Besides golden tickets, of course, but those are just too unaffordable. He's kind of like my Saquon Barkley. Like, he just, he can make every pass in the field. He can, he can get escape bars. He can get dash and die. He gets good abilities. He's affordable and he can be power pass. It's very, it's very simply put. Uh, guys, coming into one of my, probably my second favorite player in Madden right now. I can't afford him. But if I could, guys, trust me, I'd have him. This card is looking so beastly. Mike Evans, I actually could afford him. Oh, oh my God, he's cheap. He's actually cheap. Guys, this Mike Evans is absolutely ridiculous. Take a look at him real quick. Okay, so let's compare him to uh, Night Train Lane, which probably is build. 
four inches taller. That's a huge boost at cornerback. You guys don't understand the difference of height. Like just a few inches, four inches. That's like if you streak and you even if you have me, if we're even close, he's picking you. Speed, same speed as Nitro Lane. Excel, better. Agility, less. Jumping, better. Play rec, a lot better. Man coverage, a lot better. Zone, the same. Press, better. So is he just Nitro Lane better? Strength, better. He's actually stronger too. And then to my favorite part, catching, 89. It's gonna be a 90 on my team which means you're gonna get really glitchy catching animations. Guys, this card is absurd. He's the perfect cornerback. He's got height, speed, jump, coverage, press, strength. Everything, he's literally, he's a man child. I'm telling you guys, Mike Evans cornerback. I don't know why he's going for so cheap, dude. Does he play bad for people? Like, I, I don't comprehend the, uh, the reason behind that. And the final card in this list is going to be probably the greatest quarterback in Madden. At, at, at a coin basis, obviously I'm still going with my boy Mahomes, but if you, have, if you have unlimited coins and you're rich, uh, Mike Vick is probably still going to be a little bit better. He ta you take pretty much the best parts of Mahomes and add speed to him. You get a plus 11 speed on Michael Vick. You're going to get 99 speed. He's pretty much 99 speed Mahomes. Same throw power, better throw short, better throw uh, medium accuracy, same deep, less throw under pressure, same throw on the run, and then it's going to be better play action. So pretty much you put um you put the right chemistries on him, you get his throw under pressure up, you get his middle stats up. He's going to be a better passer than Mahomes essentially, and he's going to have a 99 speed. Guys, it's a no-brainer. Vic's better. Vic's way better, actually. But Mahomes is close enough if you got the, if you don't got the coins for Vic. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you add to this list. I'm out. Peace.